One of the most common questions that I see asked is fonts. How do you do them? How do you download them? How do you find them? How do you bring them into Silhouette? And especially glyphs. Um, fonts like Samantha, MF, I Love Glitter. So many of them have special characters. And it can be a little bit hard to find those special characters and bring them into your program. So real quick, this is defont.com. It's probably one of the more common sites to download fonts from. There are so many fonts on here, hundreds and hundreds, just go through them. Some of the fonts are free for personal use only. So just pay attention to that while you're going through. Some of them you can buy. The information for these fonts are usually right, right in the information here, right below the font. One of the things I like to do if I'm looking for a certain word to be used, you can go pick a style, and then you can preview that word in the different fonts. This really helps if you're looking for a certain style of word. If you're looking for a neat H, for example, so you can download this. So what you do, come over to the side, hit download. It'll be right down here at the bottom of your screen. Once it downloads, just open that file up. It will bring up a zipped folder or compressed folder. Hit extract. And then you can choose where it goes. Mine always go to the downloads folder, which are easy to kind of clear out every now and then. And if you hit show extracted files when complete, you won't have to go search for them. Hit extract. And these are all right here ready to be installed. You might have a few file types. It just kind of depends on what computer you're using. I'm going to download the true type font. Right click and hit install. It'll install your font. Close these out. One thing that is important to note is so you've downloaded your font to your computer, but now where is it? What you have to do is close your file, your program, and then open it again. So now we have our program opened back up. I'm just going to go over here to the type tool. Highlight my word and change it. So a few things here. One, you can see that there are some overlapping areas of your font here. If you just send this to the machine, it will cut out everything that's red. Here you can see your cut lines bold. So what I like to do, select your font, go to the Modify tab, and hit Weld. Or you can right click on the word and hit Weld. It'll keep everything highlighted. So what I do immediately is I right click again and group. The next thing I usually do just to keep track of what vinyl colors I'll be cutting, is I like to change the color of my word. If you're sending a mock-up to a client, sometimes it helps to make this look a little bit more realistic. So what you could do is come up here where the line color tab is, click on that, 
you can actually change the color of the line as well. So one thing that's important to note, once you weld, you can't edit this text. It's not going to work. And there's no way to put it back to text. But you can resize it. If you don't want to go back, retype, say it's maybe a long piece, what you can do is just undo until you get back to the point where you weld. What I usually do if I'm working on a couple of mock-ups of different fonts, right click, duplicate, and I put this off to the side. Then I can weld, and see you can see it kind of breaks it up into pieces. Group that. Now you can show the client two different options of font. Pretty easy there. And then if you need to go back and make a change, it's easy to change. And you don't have to go back through and try to find which font you used. So. That's a quick overview of how to download a font and how to type a font into the program. In the next video, I will show you how to use those special characters. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll have more tutorials coming soon. Thanks, guys.